I got an idea. When I took apart the dash of the car and, or I took that wood piece off and stained it, we were able to see what the dash looks like for the vent and everything, how the venting system works and blows in your face and everything. The, I've read a little bit about the air filter in the car and you know, we have the premium package in all the Tesla, all the Model 3s that are out now. And with the premium package in the Model S, you actually get that, you get the HEPA filter. So I'm wondering, does this really have a HEPA filter? Does it have something like that? Cause this is the premium package. Let's take some more stuff apart and let's dig a little bit into here and uh, see what's under there. Let's pop the frunk. All right, let's... And inside here, there's this panel right here. And obviously this is the vent area, which pulls in, which is a lot of air actually, which, uh, which is pretty nice. And I believe the battery is under here. So what we're gonna do is just rip things apart like I usually do be gentle inside here you have the 12 volt battery you have the brakes over here on this side and then if if anything does happen if you, you are in an accident god forbid this is where the fireman is going to cut the line one of them for to the high voltage and right inside here is actually the vent or the air intake really so it's a very large opening it looks like these little tabs you can pull that off to remove it. And also, if you wanted to remove this whole bucket, there's two bolts here and probably something underneath here, and you can remove this whole bucket. I don't plan on going that far today. That's where the air goes in, so it must be behind the glove box where the filter is. It's gotta have a filter, so let's go dig in there. So let's open up the glove box. Remove all the crap. Typical my fashion, I like to kind of rip things apart. Oops. When you open the glove box, you see this little door that opens up. It doesn't really say anything on the little door, but you can see inside, there's nothing there. That white thing is actually just a sticky type of, uh, I don't know, it's like a sealant almost because it's wrapped around the front. Uh, but then there's this opening well, that's really just for the glove box to close. I thought they would just make it easy to pull out. So what I did, I actually, on the bottom here, these little clips come out from underneath where your, where your toes are. And let me show you that. When you pull those off, you can pull this panel down and you see, it looks like there's a computer back there along with this insulation foam probably to dampen the noise. And up front here, there's actually a speaker. It's weird that they would have a speaker by your toes, but I'm wondering if that's actually for something else or if that's part of the voice command or, or if, if that's part of the navigation where it talks to you. And then it looks like there's a high voltage wire over there too. Um, I'm wondering if underneath this panel here is where the filter is. There's one, two star screws and then this panel would come off. I think you can tell where this is going. I'll be back in a minute. It's a little windy down here because the air conditioning's on because it's super hot today. After a little digging, this is actually where the airbag comes out for your shins and your knees. Um, so I am not gonna remove that. I'm not gonna pry that apart. It looks like I can do some damage to that. So that's gonna stay there. I'm gonna put all this back together and uh, Find out where this damn filter is. I was sitting here thinking about where this filter could be. If you remember when I took the wood off the dash, the, the air came up from the center here. It came up in two ports and then it went left and right. So it would make sense that the filter is actually back there in the middle. It was weird because where it's coming in, it looks like it's coming in behind the glove box uh, from up front in the frunk. But I think it's being routed over to the center and then comes up that way. I don't know where to get to it. I'm not popping this off. That just seems ridiculous to pop this off just to change a filter. And I didn't see it when I popped this off. So um, let's look in the front again. It could be behind all this, but when I took this apart, I didn't see it. So this is up front again. There is an a grate and it goes off what would be the center of the car and I don't see any filter material in there so that would put it that's going in here that would put it center which makes sense because those the air vent came up from the center if that's the case then it would be coming up from here uh, well the the vents are here they come up from the center so underneath here somewhere would be 
it would be the filter you would think. Let me pull this panel off and see. So I turned the air on. It's gonna be a little noisy, but I wanted to be able to see and maybe hear where it's coming at. HVAC modules. So we're in the right place. I don't see where where there would be a compartment to pull apart to on the this is the passenger side. I bet you if I go on the other side, I don't know what WS is or SM is. So the filter has to be somewhere in here. I bet you this is the other side of the filter. I bet you it's on the other side. So let's go over there. Did I mention it's 90 degrees outside? It's pretty hot. Okay, so I ripped that panel off and on this side, <laughs> it doesn't show anything. Except this is the same on both sides and this is cold. So I'm wondering if this is the coolant. There's a cavity below it. I don't see where a filter could be. But these, this is all cold. So, I mean, we're in the right spot here. It's just this is not I don't see a filter at all, which is so weird. There would have to be an access to a filter and they would have to have a filter. Otherwise this would be, this would be ridiculous. Let me pull the whole panel off on the other side and we'll take a look again. There has to be a filter, right? There has to be a filter. I ripped the whole panel off so it's easy to see everything. So I wonder if this is the filter because there was nothing on the other side that would indicate a filter. This right here can be dropped down, but there's screws there, so you wouldn't have a filter with screws on it. You want a filter where it's easy to remove. So this actually makes sense for a filter to go, and I don't see any way to actually open that except for to pull that. And with a closer look, that doesn't even seem like it's a door. I am quite baffled on where the filter is in this car. Same cavity underneath to the other side of the car. If this is the, if this is the filter, if this, you drop this, that's going to be a pain in the ass to replace the cabin air filter. I hope it's not that. So in conclusion, I can't find the filter. If there's a filter, if you know where the filter is, drop a comment down below, link the video to me. I couldn't find it. Um, it's, I don't see it in there. I didn't see it inside the car. Uh, it, most logical place would be where I was looking. So I didn't find anything that looked like it can open up to replace the filter. So help me out. Let me know in the comments below if you know where it's at. Hopefully I can get this car back together. If you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for a Model S or a Model X, I think the referral program is ending at the end of this month. I think July 1st, they're starting a new program or July 5th or whenever they get to it because this is Tesla time, they're always a little late. Excuse me? Baking powder? Because it is a new quarter and that's hopefully when they push off everything for the 200,000th 200, car. So everyone gets their uh, tax credit. If you're looking for a Model S and Model X, and you want to get that $7,500 tax credit for sure, use my referral code. I have a giveaway going for a home charger. The first two referrals, you actually get a home charger. I'm giving the second one away. The information's in the video, uh, link down below. But if you're looking for a Model S, Model X, get free supercharging, use the link. It helps out the channel, helps us get to events. I want to get to the event uh, for the Model Y event. I think that'd be awesome to go see. Bring you guys along with me, bring my, my wife and I, and just a ton of video. And you know there's going to be a ton of video. And I just want to bring it out to everyone and uh, have a good time. Until tomorrow, I'll see you later.